My name is uh, Ben Wooten. I'm the co-founder of a company called Sendachi. And what we do is help enterprise organizations adopt DevOps and continuous delivery, which are a set of practices for um, developing and delivering software. So the company was actually founded uh, two years ago uh, under a different name, Contino. Um, what we noticed was a gap in the market that organizations would be looking to adopt these practices, um, but we felt that there was no roadmap for how they do it. So, you know, how does it impact your organizational structure and your business processes and how do you kind of modernize your technology platforms for DevOps and continuous delivery? Um, I looked at things like Agile, which has Scrum, which is a kind of template for how you do it in an enterprise setting. And we wanted to do the same for DevOps. So what we've done is we've spent the last few years developing that IP, developing that roadmap of, you know, where do you get started? What do you do? How do you measure success and stuff like that? Um, so we've been building that out, you know, with our clients and internally testing that in the market and, you know, iterating and improving that framework. DevOps is a set of uh, practices which companies can adopt to improve how they deliver software, to do so more efficiently, uh, with more innovation, more agility. Um, it, it started from a realization that um, software development teams and IT operations teams were quite kind of siloed uh, places. They were completely misaligned in how they worked and the business processes and the tools, etc., they used. And DevOps is about kind of realigning those two halves of your technology function so they work together more effectively and more collaboratively. And what we do is help companies adopt those practices. So, as I say, it's understanding how do they most optimally set up their uh, organization for DevOps to emerge, how do they modernize their business processes, and how do they kind of crack that problem of technology legacy? So how do we make that kind of easier to change, to test and to deploy in order to go faster? I think the biggest challenge which a lot of our clients have is it's where to get started. So, you know, they have a pain point, maybe they want to go faster, they want more agility, uh, their business and their customers are demanding that. They've heard about these terms like DevOps, continuous delivery, and some of the kind of technology terms like uh, infrastructure automation and containers, but they want to know how does that apply to us? So where are we right now uh, as a company and relative to our peers? And then how do we kind of benchmark where we are now? And then where do we go from here? So what do we do first? Uh, in what areas of the application estate? Um, and how do we kind of measure progress? Um, and another really kind of common question is, how do we build the business case for that as well? So they know that they want to do some of these initiatives. Um, they kind of make sense conceptually, but they need help articulating that to the, you know, to the CXO, like what does this really mean to the bottom line and our ability to uh, actually get new product and code out of the door quicker. I think the cloud is kind of a big enabler for DevOps. So a lot of the time it's born from development teams who want to go faster. You know, they want to be able to uh, release their code quicker, they want to deliver what the business is asking for um, earlier and more often. Cloud kind of enables them to uh, have that infrastructure under their control. So using techniques such as infrastructure as code and containers, we can go and provision that infrastructure down on demand. Um, and that's kind of a unblocks a big use case for developers who have previously been constrained by like central IT operations functions. The old school model of outsourcing your kind of technology infrastructure or your application development is kind of outdated in today's day and age. So what organizations want to do is, you know, test and learn and iterate really quickly on their software portfolio. And that's just very difficult if you're kind of going to an external provider with a contract to say, can you do that for me? So the big focus today is on kind of insourcing, onshoring, and for clients to build their own capability. So I think what we're looking to do is disrupt that old kind of consultancy system integrator model and say, we will help you um, build your own capability. And the way we do that is by kind of pairing with our clients and we say, give their people the experience of working in a DevOps mature culture. So as well as coming and helping them deliver on their most strategic projects, we also want to kind of duly upskill their people and give them the experience of DevOps ways of working. And I think that's what's really resonating for, for us at this time when clients do want to go faster, more innovative, et cetera, et cetera.